My name is Andy. I like to spend my time outdoors and and also with my lovely equipment. Subscribe if you love to buy more gear as well. Over the last year I've been hiking in many different shoes, or even no shoes at all. My old hiking boots feel a bit tight in the front, and meanwhile they are not really waterproofed anymore. Now with winter upon us I had to get a new pair of shoes, and I want them to be barefoot hiking boots. That's not getting any better. So, I'm about one hour into my hike, the first hike with my new hiking boots. And it's going great so far, no issues, but also the path wasn't too much of a challenge. It was more or less a road like this. I've had an eye on these shoes for a while now, even though they gave me a strange feeling at the back of my heel when I first tried them on. I had this issue with other shoes before, but so far it seems to be going pretty well. My biggest concern when I thought of buying these shoes just became reality. When walking upwards it hurts at the back of my foot. And that's the reason why I am very picky when buying new shoes. It's really not comfortable. Three hours and 45 minutes of hiking in the dark. Yay! Yeah. In general, I'm very satisfied with my new shoes. They provide good grip, also on a muddy surface. And it's nice to have that extra feeling for the ground, especially during the dark hours. This hike was one of the most beautiful I've ever had. On my way down I saw a rabbit, four deers and many yellowish pairs of eyes staring at me from the forest. My shoes brought me safely to the next train station. There's only the problem with the back of my heel. I have seen this method of softening the leather once before. After some research I found many websites, which are trying to tell me that only a professional should do this. It is getting softer, but moving the leather with my hands seems to be more effective in my case. not any different, pain is still there. It's hurting exactly where the stitches inside of the shoes are. I have no clue what I could do about it. No idea. I just hope they will adapt over time, but the good thing is, it's not hurting that much, so it's kinda easy to forget, especially when you're in such a beautiful place like this. But it would for sure be a problem when I would walk for eight 10 hours, yeah then I don't know if I could walk that long in these shoes. So I hope they will adapt. Or do you have another solution? If you have one, please write it down in the comments. I really like these shoes. Although they are called barefoot shoes, the sole is not as thin as the one on my trail runners. But still I get a better feeling for the ground than with my old hiking boots. And also they give me great support on the ankle even though I don't feel like I would need it. But it's nice to have that better protection from the snow, dirt and also from stones. One of the biggest differences compared to my old hiking boots is that light and strong feeling. I could run in them. Actually, I do run a little almost on every hike when I want to catch the earlier train back home. all the hiking boots I've ever had, these ones definitely make the most fun to run in. 